Welcome to the lesson on causes of respiratory distress or failure. In this video, we'll discuss the causes of respiratory distress or failure. Respiratory distress or failure generally falls into one of the four broad categories, including upper airway, lower airway, lung tissue disease, and central nervous system or CNS issues. In the upper airway, distress or failure can be caused by croup or swelling, foreign body, retropharyngeal abscess, and or anaphylaxis. In the lower airway, distress or failure can be caused by bronchiolitis and or asthma. The lung tissue disease can be caused by pneumonia, pneumonitis, and or pulmonary edema. CNS issues can be caused by overdosing and or head trauma. This list is not comprehensive and specific conditions should be addressed with specific therapy. However, this list represents the most common causes of respiratory distress or failure in pediatrics. This concludes our lesson on causes of respiratory distress or failure. Next, we'll review responding to respiratory distress or failure.